Hey, there's a giveaway going on at the video previous to this one of the fishing trip that I took my family on. Why have y'all not watched it for the free giveaway? <laughs> I want to laugh, but I can't. I'm trying to wake up and everything. But any which way, welcome to the Yolk Yolk Show from the trailer hood. Any which way, it is Sunday. I've already been in there reading my Bible and carrying on. My wife had to go to work today uh, because she's probably going to need to be off one day this week while I'm out of town. You're probably saying, where are you going, y'all? Everywhere. I be going everywhere. No. <laughs> I'm actually headed to Florida. We'll be headed to Florida. Uh, I got to take my boy down to the beach, and then I got to go from there down further to Florida to a buddy of mine, Ryan Boyd. He has a YouTube channel called It's a Wild Life. If you think that I catch some crazy stuff, you should go see him because that dude catches everything that's got fur feeling, scales, slime. I don't know. He got it all. And uh, his wife, that with his wife, and then he got like triplets, like little baby triplets uh, of kids. So he's got a whole, he's got a wild life for sure. So I'm going down there because... He traps hogs, and we're going to try to convert, or no, we're not going to try. We are going to convert uh, his trap. He traps hogs, too, so we're going to trap. I got his stuff. I got him two cameras loaded up. The hog guy trap cameras, I got him loaded up there. And uh, uh, let's not forget about Barnes Crossing. <laughs> so I got him loaded up with cameras for his hog traps, and uh, he has a different brand of hog trap that I use, that I use, but we're going to convert they're his camera system to a great camera system. That way, he's already catching a lot, but he's going to catch a lot more and when he wants because, like I said, he has control of when he catches it live feed right then. So, And you can monitor just so much other stuff that he's going to do. So y'all go check out It's a Wild Life. I'll try to pin it in the comments so you can go there. But when you go there and watch his videos, you make sure you come on back to the Yop Yop channel. You hear me? <laughs> anyway, that being said, this video does not have a whole lot Harlow, we went to Memphis, Tennessee, and Harlow pitched a heck of a game in a summer league uh, wood bat baseball game. Uh, I can't remember if it was a no-hitter. He walked some hitters, he walked some people, and he hit some batters, but he pitched a complete game shutout, strikeouts, and, and, and his team backed him up, and uh, they allowed no runs. So I'm very proud of him for that as we get ready to go do football. So anyway, but I got to pick him up. We're not going to Florida till like 4 o'clock this evening. Take him, four, drive him five hours to that spot, and then I got another four or five hours to the next spot. It's going to be a long day, but it's already been a long day. I know I got a lot to say here, but I just want you to understand what I'm saying. It's already been a long day. It's already been a long weekend. We played in Boonville, which is about an hour and 40 minutes from here. We played there Thursday and Friday, and then we went to Memphis Saturday, and he played. So, uh, and then today, his... Harlow's great granddaddy passed away uh, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, and Harlow had that funeral at two o'clock today. So as soon as the funeral's over with, me and him's headed to Florida. So it's just a lot going on. So you haven't seen a whole lot with what I got because of baseball uh, and, and 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 passing of, of, of Harlow's family members, stuff like that, trying to do things. And we still got our own life of, of everyday life of going on with with my wife, uh, Cruz, the five year old. Uh, child so it's just a lot going on i just want to just tell you, so this this video <laughs> let me get all this out i'll try to get all this out because i don't have much time uh this video somebody asked me like the you remember that big 300 pound hog i caught somebody asked me how do you like how do you know when to go get that big hog or not go get that and i sit there and i monitor that hog and how he acts and stuff like that and then i make a decision whether i want to based on if I could get there or if I'm worried or not worried. But anyway, I videoed like 10 minutes of watching that giant hog. Uh, and I just wanted to show you that that's like, even though I catch it, I don't just roll back over and really go to bed. I monitor those big hogs and those sounders and seeing how they're acting. So with that being said, I'm going to show you a little bit of that footage, of that big hog and how he would like stand up on there, decide if he wanted to jump or if he could, or if he's going to root up under it and dig it out or whatever, you know, trying to do. And then also I'm going to try to put in some of Harlow's baseball uh, from the from the complete game shutout from him pitching behind that because I know some people got mad because somebody literally said I'm here for the pig trap and not your kids baseball and I literally said <laughs> this is my show and if you don't know how to use the scroll button to watch what you want to and then leave then you ain't smart enough <laughs> to be a fan around here son 
<laughs> Never forget. Uh, I want you here, but I ain't going to beg you. Come on, and I'm going to show my family stuff because one day it will be over, and I won't have it. All I'll have is the memories of what I video for my child and my family. So, any which way, let's get into monitoring this big hog and watching Harlow throw them strikes. <laughs> Good job. Way to get out of it. He caught it. He's out.
ball game. Harlow had a good run. We won eight to nothing and uh, Harlow made the whole inning. I mean a whole game pitching. Did an awesome job. Um, there's Harlow. I want to bat. Get up here. Oh man. There you go son. Be the first one. Congratulate and shake. Congratulate and shake.
And he's just rooting around. Give him a little snack. Pretty good neck of Most time when it back is over that middle bar, it's going to be a pretty good one. Don't know how he's going to act, but I've just been keeping an eye on him. Just rooting around trying to figure out what what's going on. That got a pretty good set of fuzzy wuzzies on him. He's looking up. I don't like all that looking up, but he's just checking things out. He didn't he didn't even spook. He didn't even spook when that trap fought. Look at him looking up. Look right there. Watch him. He's trying to figure it out. <laughs> a lot of times after a lot of people think after I catch, you just catch, but a lot of times you just, I just, I sit here and watch these pigs and see how they act. See how they do. Look at him just rooting around. He's just rooting. He don't know exactly what to do yet. I was hoping he'd walk back over here in front of this camera. Pretty big. Oh. I'm scared he's going to just look up and jump out when I'm scared. But look at him. So he looks up right there. Look how he's doing. This I mean, it'd take me 40 minutes to get there, so it ain't like I can do a whole lot, so. Let's see how he acts, but he acts like he wants to jump. He's got that jump ring right there on him. Um. Either way, we got a big hog, and whether he stays in there, I don't know. Man, he's a stud. I say he's a stud. He looks like a stud. Got a little notification. Hog rolling around. Man. Man, oh man. Wish he would just lay down. Just chill out. But I like video and I like for y'all to stick to it and see, see what we got going on watching these hogs and see how they react. Did you see like when that when that trap dropped? I think I may be wrong, but I think all he did was just kind of flinch his tailbone. That's it. He didn't he didn't run into a bunch of the trap or nothing, did he? I done forgot already, but <laughs> Oh, look at that dude right there. And this is one of those videos where I just kind of want to show you what they do. Or sometimes what this one do. You know, he didn't bang a lot. He's a big old boar. It tells me whether he's been trapped before and he's not scared. He's going to figure it out. Or, uh, you know, he, he's just a man. He ain't scared of nothing. I don't know. But also... That trap's in the mud right there, so it just dropped and splattered, so probably didn't make a whole lot of noise. So, we'll see if he's just going to root or he's going to jump. He keeps looking up. There he goes. He's trying. He's trying. And like I said, I can't get to him. It ain't, I ain't going to be able to get to him in time, even if he jump. And it's a lot, it's down in the bottom, big old bottom heel. Oh, man, so... We shall see how it goes. Y'all probably really want to see him jump out right now, don't you? That's what y'all really want to do. I know that's what y'all want to see. The thing is about hogs, you can't. I mean, if they want to jump, they know how to jump, they'll jump out. But we'll see. If he jumps out, maybe we'll have it recorded. <laughs> Uh, if not, we're going to go get him in the morning. I got to get some rest. I've been rolling. It's 10 o'clock now. I've been rolling for the last 36 hours, it feels like. So, see how his head's up under that thing right there? Keeps hitting his head. And he can't quite figure it out. But if he was to back up and jump, he's going to get out of there. Oh. Those smart, big, giant hogs, they just figure that out. They just, they just do. It ain't no way to say... 
They just do. And it's illegal in Mississippi. You can't have a top on these traps. You can have a jump ring and stuff like that, but you can't have a top on there because you know it's redneck. Some some redneck, he's going to try to catch a big old buck or something. You know, catch something he ain't supposed to. No. But he's just rooting. He don't like it. But he's there. Anyways. He's just a rootin'. He is just a rootin'. Dude's going at it right there. I wish he'd turn around this way so you can get a good picture of him, good video of him. There you go. Give him a little snack. Push that hole. Can't see if he's got any teeth or not, but he's, he's thick right there, boys. So usually they're, when they're over that bar, that center bar, that's usually a good hole. Uh-oh. 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 Look at his head up on it. Look at that. Golly. Mm-mm. I just want y'all to keep watching. So you can see that hog got camera system. That's the camera system. See how clear it is? He wants to go so bad. Can't tell if his nose is in it or above it, but he's just that one. We'll just have to see if what he does stays in or gets out. Hoping he just go lay down. If he just, it looks like he keeps dropping that rear end right there. He is what it is. He's big. If he gets out, if it if it's the jumper, I had a jumper before, and he like a year ago. And if that's him, he's gained a lot of weight. If it ain't him, then we got one that knows how to jump. <laughs> so, give him a little snack. Maybe he'll stay snacking. He's got some mud water in there. The only thing is, I just caught him so early. Oh. And he ain't really trying to jump like hit his head. You know? Like if he would hit his head or something. You know, maybe it'd calm him down, but... He ain't really just calmed his head down. That dude wants to go so bad. And this is normal action. I mean, if it was real dry ground, like when it's real dry ground is when they could really plant their feet and jump. But he's so fat. I mean, I ain't saying, I feel like he could do it if he wants to. I'm just saying he's so thick bone, man. Look at that. Look how thick boned he is. So, I don't know. I just hope the Lord, if the Lord wants him to stay there, stay there. If he don't, he don't. We shall see. He jumps out. Maybe we got a record of it. <laughs> Ooh. it. Does make me a little nervous. It makes me a little nervous, but and he's gonna root for a while. Try to figure it out. I'm hoping he's just too fat to jump. I'm back over here in front of the screen. Very 
for a little while see what happens well come by my dad's house for a little bit but anyway <coughs> my dad got this big old tree cut down right here uh they're gonna have to hurry up and get out and get this cut up and get it in firewood winter won't be winter will come soon i guess you would say <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed this show i hope you enjoy everything and i'm sorry i've been slow with everything we are working on the y'all y'all podcast so you can listen to the stories as well hopefully august 1st we're shooting for august 1st to get that started and download so it'll be the Yacht Yacht Show for the podcast. So it'll be more talking. I know y'all love me talking. But anyway, that being said, hope you enjoyed this show. Thank y'all for everything. Like, subscribe. Go to yachtyacht.com. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. They have a church over there. Parking lot. I didn't want to scare nobody. <laughs>